screen recording to help you with Unit 16 Film and Video Editing Techniques Part 2. Already in this booklet you've started some preparation towards your promotional video for the college. If I scroll down through the booklet we've already completed Task 1, the Rushes Log. Task 2, Marking Up the Script. Your Edit Decision List should now be complete. And you've clarified the purpose of work with the client or director. The next stage of your booklet is task 5, preparing to edit, importing clips, bins, timeline, storage, folder management, online and off offline editing, formats and resolution. For this section of your booklet, what I'd like you to do, before you even start the edit, is to take screenshots as evidence that you understand every stage of preparing to edit. So to do this, to take a screenshot, you have to hold down Command, Shift and 4. Your cursor will change to a target like so. Drag that across the screen, let go, and that will take a screenshot of that part of the screen. But you must show evidence of every single one of these items here. Okay? So, we're going to open up Final Cut, and I'll just talk you through Final Cut, the interface, before we begin. So you have here your libraries. This little symbol here is a library. Now this is part of your folder management because within this you could have a library called promotional video. And within that you may have different events, which I'll talk about in a second, and also different folders. And this would actually help the organisation of your project. Here you can view the different events and projects. This window you can either view the clip over here, as you can see here, and then I've got in my um, view window here, or if you scroll along your playhead, you can also see your timeline. So this window is quite important. Other parts you need to be aware of are the options on the right hand side of your screen, which you'll need when you're editing. So you have different options down here, such as to add effects, add images and photographs, add audio, which is an important part of the task, to add transitions between particular clips should you wish, add titles. So all of these options you will use in the edit and in this window here this gives you more control over each of the different features. I'll explain more on that, of that later on. Down at the bottom this is your timeline and this is where you will drag your clips to begin the edit. So let me tell, tell you about a bit of the features up here. To import a clip which is the first part of evidence you need to show in your booklet, if you go to file, new, I mentioned before you can have a library, so a library is kind of a, a larger collection of clips and I would suggest that you set up a library to store all of your video clips for the promotional video. An event, if I select that there, that will create a new um, bin to import your footage. A bin is just basically another word for a file. So all we're using, we're interchanging the word bin for event and that you could group your different events into different subject matters should you wish. You might have a, an event for subject footage, you might have an event for shots of outside of the college and that might help the organisation of your edit. Just cancel that. And you also have project. This is your project, your timeline down here and you'll notice that little icon there. So you do need to distinguish the three different types of bins, libraries, events and um, projects. So this is your timeline. As you can see, we can see text here. We can see the timings across the top. This little window here actually tells us the frame. So at the moment, we can see at the bottom of this, the screen, we can see that it's recording, well, it's going to output of 1080p HD, 25 frames per second stereo sound. Now, if you watch this clip here, if I use the arrow keys on the keyboard, we can actually go through frame by frame. But as soon as it hits 25, it goes up to three seconds. So it's 25 frames per second. Other things you'll need to know about are the different formats in Final Cut. Now obviously when you start editing all of your clips you will import in here. To do that you would just go File, Import, Media and you get this window here and this mean, allows you to search through wherever you may have stored your files. It might be on your desktop and you would select your file you can add to an existing event, so it would be a good idea to show all of this in your workbook. You can create a new event, and then you would import selected. And when you hit import, that's when your files will appear in this window here. 
And you can see, remember we've been using the, the time codes and the numbers of each clip. You will see the number of the clip underneath and that's important because you've been using your edit decision list to organise those clips in order. Once you've got all of your clips in place, that's when you begin to edit. To edit, you would select your clip, you get the little yellow box around the outside. You can actually squeeze in that yellow box to select the tiny bit that you want. Once you're happy with the selection, your, your cursor changes to a hand and you can drag that down onto your timeline. And down here you can see, you can also see the waveforms. This is important because you can see where there is sound in your clip. Other features you'll need to know about um, before you start an edit and to show preparation of um, files before the edit are these little buttons here. This is the film strip view, which is the view that we've got it in now. Or if I click on this, it's not going to let me, it's going to stop. It might crash in a moment. If you click on that, you can actually view the clips as small thumbnails. So you can use whichever format you think is best and appropriate for your work. The other thing that I want to show you is formats. I shall show you that in the next tutorial because Final Cut is going to